Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use Power Automate to extract images from any docx file and save those images separately from the document they came from. We're going to use another free Cloudmersive document conversion connector action to make this process quick and easy. We'll start by selecting the Create menu and picking the Instant Cloudflow option. We're just going to walk through a simple manually triggered flow for this demonstration. On the flow diagram page, let's start by grabbing a docx file with images. I'm using a sample document that contains one image for this demonstration and it's stored in OneDrive, so I'm setting up a quick get file content action to grab it. Once that step is out of the way, let's add a new action and then let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Let's scroll down the list of Cloudmersive connectors until we find the document conversion connector with the green logo, and then let's click See More to enumerate connector actions. If it's our first time using this connector, please note we'll need to authorize our connection with the free tier API key. This will allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with no commitments, and once we enter that in here, it'll save for future uses like mine has. Once we're looking at the connector actions list, we'll notice we unfortunately don't have a search function to look up specific actions. We're looking for an action called get images from a Word docx document. We can either use a regular control find through our browser to highlight the action for us, or we can scroll a little more than halfway down the list until we find it. Let's select it once we do find it. Selecting the action opens up our Request Parameters tab, and we can enumerate our two parameters by clicking Show All. We just need to select dynamic content from our Get File Content action, and we're all set. This action is going to extract each image from our Word document and return them to us in our flow as temporary URLs. We can use those URLs to place these images in other documents, or we can call another Cloudmersive action to convert the URLs to independent image files. Let's quickly walk through the latter option. Let's click Add an Action once again, and then let's type Finish Editing into the Action search bar. If we look below, we should see a Cloudmersive document conversion action come up near the top of the list called Finish Editing Document and Download Result. We've already authorized our connection, so let's go ahead and click on this action directly. To configure this request, all we need to do is open up our dynamic content window and select image contents URL from the previous action. Right away, we can see that Power Automate generated an apply to each control to account for the possibility that multiple image URLs are coming out of the original file. Now that our URL conversion is done, we can set up a regular create file action within the apply to each control to generate new image files in a folder of our choosing. I'm going to send my document's image file to the same OneDrive folder I got my original document from. If your documents have multiple images, you can use the image ID or even an expression when you name your files to differentiate between them in your target folder. Once we're all done, we can save and run our test. When our test is complete, we should have one or more image files in our target folder with the name we specified, and these images will behave like any other image file in our file system. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.